Right then guys, the Triumph Stag, I'll give you a bit of a walk around while Jack's doing the uh, photographs. What year was the car? 72, yeah, there we are. And nice to see one on original trims, uh, as opposed to the alloys for a bit of a change. Let's have a quick look in here, Jack's just popped the bonnet for us. Oh, we've got a few upgradey bits in here by the looks of things. Upgraded radiator, upgraded expansion tank. Rover V8 to me. Yeah, she's Rover, isn't she? Rover V8 shoved in. Nice big radiator, that's going to um, sort out all the overheating issues, not that the Rovers had an overheating issue. Look at them proper clamps on there, they're good aren't they? I've never seen clamps as strong as that before, I like them. Anyhow, there you go, that's that. Bob that back down. I don't know if Jack opened, no she did, he did open the door. And I've seen those seats somewhere before and I can't for the life of me think where I've seen them. Oh dear. Nope, I can't think. You guys would tell me. That'll give it away, won't it? I can't think. Inside. Looks quite a sound thing. Oh, is, there a bit, is that a bit of a... That's going to be a wind deflector of some description, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we are. Wind deflector there. It's a shame about the little bit in the uh, window there. Other than that, the hood is in quite good order. Well, anyway, there we go, guys. She's obviously a little bit away from your standard stag. But I'm sure a very usable car. It's down on display at Pickering there. And not a concourse example by any means, but a very uh, usable, like I say, Triumph Stag. Four seater Tourer. Our main viewing period is that week leading up to the sale when uh, cars are, are parked up and we're not busy moving stuff around and trucks and trailers and all the rest of it. So uh, feel free to come down, have a look, see what you think. See the girls in the office, they'll show you what paperwork we've got and go from there. Thank you.